but that's where that's where that's where everything goes wrong like the now like when we, even before we like earlier today we were talking whether it be religion whether it be race whether it be like anything it's like you see how we have an understanding of like all right i i believe this you believe that we don't agree but i thank you for explaining you know where you come from like, your level of respect yeah, i think i respect but that's why i'm like with the whole like race thing i'm like why i just if i have a question why you want to shut me down if i really just want to know maybe i will agree maybe i'll learn something See, maybe I you'll teach me something but so, you can't be attacking me because to, 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 to say what you like to respond to what you just said, like that's where it goes wrong with rate with religion. I don't think religion is where it goes wrong. I right. think it's individuals. Right, individuals. right. It's not it's not religion, yeah. And, and I don't say it's the religion. No, no, absolutely not. Like I don't I don't see wrong in religion. I see wrong it's in the, the people. people. Yeah. So like they talk about all oh, Christianity, the, like the crusades no, and all of this shit. That's the people. Because there's Christians like me that don't believe in that shit. Yeah, and every every religion had their version of a crusade. Yeah. So it's like they just did shit differently in that day. Exactly. Man, I mean I'm not I'm not of that belief. Yeah, I mean I, but that goes because I, I I think religion teaches love. You know what I mean? It, it teaches I see love in it. it should. You know I mean it's the love of God and love of other, your neighbor. But everybody your, your has their radicals. People. We have our radical Christians, the radical Muslims, the radical Exactly. Warriors. But I'm just like I, no, that's what I'm saying. I don't yeah. believe in that bullshit. Right. I don't believe in the Christian that is at the abortion clinics or at the gay parade saying, "Oh, you're going to hell. You're a faggot." Nah. You know what? Who are you to judge him? You're not. You're not his judge. Right. The word says we're supposed to judge our brother and hold our brother accountable. Right. So if if I'm a Christian and I see my Christian brother out here wilding, I'm supposed to hold him accountable. Right. But not the unbeliever. It's it's rebuke, not judge. Yeah. But I'm not supposed to go out there like, oh, look at all these sinners out here. Nah, I'm supposed to go out and reach out to them and, and, and embrace them and show them the love of Christ as a Christian. Yeah. I mean, like, I just always had that mindset. I was always the evangelical type of Christian. I was always preaching. I was always talking. Let me, let me tell you what God did for me. Yeah. Let me tell you how he changed me. Let me show you this love that I found in God. But that that's what we are supposed to call that we're called to do as mm-hmm. a Christian is once you receive it, you gotta spread the good news. Yeah. And but but even when you say that, Joe, it's it's just even if it's not preaching or evangelizing, or whatever, just in general, like it's the way we talk to people. You know what I mean? Like if because there's there's a bit people who have evangelists that are arrogant and nasty like i don't want to hear you i can't even talk to you but it's the way we talk to people that's not even a religion thing that's not a a culture thing it's not a color thing it's just a people thing it's like a human thing like if you are from wherever whatever color whatever religion wherever you're from like i will listen to you if you come to me correctly if you talk to me i'm gonna listen to you you know what i mean if you say i honestly there's even been people let's say they're like these heart like trump supporters for example Ugh. i don't be sh- I, I sometimes i feel like fuck you I want, but i'm like you know what i right. know you as a person let me let me hear you i actually want to know why and then i can go from there i've had people like oh okay I, it's just in the you know okay i can mm. learn something and it's not mm. going to just be like fuck you and because th- then at the end of the day <laughs> what am i i don't i'm not even not even i'm not understanding Cause some, let, me go. Some, let me lose. But some people, I'm like, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. No, no. Some people, like, when I'm it's about to black out. When it's for some people, I'm like, it's let me su- open the cage. Word. It's such an let opposite. Out. It's up. It's such an opposite <laughs> view from mine. So, so I'm like, wait, I want to. I really want to know why. Like, mm-hmm. what? Why do you are so like? Why do you think that way? Because if I don't listen, or if I just want to shut it down and I don't take the time to even try to, I'm never. It's not going to make me grow as a person. Like, why are you a Trump fan? Why? Why are you deserve. so narrow minded, or why do you, or, or, like, or why do you think that way? Because they're racist. Oh, I'm sorry. But even, but even still, there's so many people. Like I could just be like, oh, because they're like this. But if I'm not even taking the time to listen, I'm not learning nothing. I'm not growing. And at the same time, if I'm coming at them crazy, we're not even opening an opportunity to even have a discussion. And I think that's really what the problem is now, uh, along with the, the damn cancel culture, along with everything else. Like people really are just not taking the time out to listen to each other like nobody knows how to talk to anybody everybody wants to type twitter fingers everybody want to type behind the curtain. nobody knows how to have a conversation and like i said even if it's different from what 
you believe like I'm not being open minded and you want to just shut down and you okay. just want to can't like, cancel me. But that's what the problem is. And that's what I was telling you about. So the post that you put up on Facebook, right? Let's talk about that because that's a perfect segue into so, that. So what was the post about? Oh, it was for, about for the people. Okay, for the people. Yeah. It was. It was. She put a post about. It was our. Pro, our last it was. Episode. It was kind of like uh, promoting our podcast last episode. Yeah, and it was like, what do you think about um, Fat Joe or like light skinned Latinos um, using the it. N word? I'm gonna use. I'm gonna read. I'll read it. Yeah, and and because Fat does, and it comes from Fat Joe and Talib's qualities. And now that we talk about yeah, that last episode. Check that one out because this is what episode twenty five. Yeah, this is twenty five. Episode twenty five. So, um, the quarter of the 25th, it's the, yeah, it's, so I put up, um, where was it? Yeah. I wanted to promote our episode 24. If you haven't watched it, I say, go watch it. Um, I wrote, is there a rule for using the N word and getting a pass? Is it simply a term of endearment? Can Latino, can Latinos use the word without judgment? Does growing up in the hood give you a pass to say it? I also said to be respectful of different opinions and views in the comments because it's my page and I don't, I don't tolerate the bullshit. Um, and I was, again, I, I, I put a link up. People can listen, but I wanted to, wanted to know their opinions. Yeah, yeah. And so, then, and then <laughs> Shorty was like, I don't even want to have this conversation with you type of shit, right? Yeah. She commented and then but said. She said like, you, so, she said like, no, right? Well, like, read the comment then. Okay, so some people, you know, people have different opinions, fine. Let's read the comment. Uh, somebody said, if you're not black, you shouldn't be using it. Fine. And then another person, the person wrote, um, I, I actually feel like, uh, like the word should have been, no, that's somebody else. Um, some, another person wrote, I don't know how many times this will need to be reiterated. People just, uh, people, uh, I don't know how many times this will need to be re reiterated before people ju just respect it. Um, and then she said, this shouldn't even be a conversation. Black people said you can't say it. And that should be the end of it. Um, so then Joe wrote, you know, so why has Fat Joe said it throughout his 30-year career and no one has an issue with it? And I wrote, playing, I'm playing devil's advocate here. What determines how Black you are? Mm -hmm. I'm a Black Latina, so do I get a pass? And obviously, our podcast is up, so just yeah. ask questions. Mm -hmm. um, another person similar to y'all. That one another thing, you know, he used to use it on you a little more fine. And then I wrote the conversation, uh, this conversation started on the podcast because we listened to the Fat Joe's interview mm -hmm. and he's been using it for over 30 years. I basically said what Joe said because mm -hmm. nobody paid attention. <laughs> I said he's been using it for over 30 years nobody in music paid attention to me. and no one complained about it. I said he's Puerto Rican from the, the from the South Bronx. Is that not okay? Um, and I said he's clearly not black, but he and I are the same nationality. Um, and then somebody wrote, no disrespect, but I, the same person who commented before, no disrespect, but I truly do not want to have this conversation. So, okay, let's pause there. If you don't want to have this fucking conversation, why are you commenting? Mm. Why the fuck are you commenting if you don't want to have a, an adult intellectual conversation about a fucking subject? But exactly. I think, but it's also because like, I wanted to know and I, another- no, no, no. But that's my, my you're, you're talking about you. I'm right. talking about why come on somebody's page comment and then when they rebut i don't want to have this conversation yeah it's you know a, why it's a coward way out it's a coward way out and it's you want to say what the fuck you want to say and what you say fuck the end else. all be all and fuck what everybody else gotta say yeah. word but, but but the crazy <laughs> part is you saw it was my my comments weren't attacking was just very you know and even i had another friend who was like you know, so for the, no, you're not black. How black do you have to be? And what makes you black? And that was oh. a real question that she was really asking because she and I are both the same nationality, but mm -hmm. she has you know, the long hair. She's darker than me, but she looks more, I think, Spanish, right? No. Spanish. And then she's like, I said, that's- Spanish from Spain? La she said Spanish. Latina. Latina. So I wrote, you know, I said, well, that's the question I have. I said, we're the same nationality. You're just kind of different shades. She's like, I'm really asking a real question and I'm not being adversarial. I just, you know, I saw the same Fat Joe interview um, and I'm just like, how is Fat Joe not black? And she's like, I said, yeah, you know, I appreciate different views and we really do want to know because it's important to have different views without offending people just so we can have a better understanding. Mm -hmm. And then she's like, um, I believe I have somebody blocked, but um, I just want to know about my blackness. <laughs> um, 
because yeah, that girl she blocked her because she questioned her blackness. You know, her daddy a whole black man. See, this is the thing, man. <laughs> so, like, but that who, who is she to be the authority again, of what's but black again, and what's that not? That conversation could have been very like educational and very like maybe you're gonna but, teach me something I don't know, but you just shut it down. Because see, this is the thing. A lot of fucking people, they they have what they want to say in their mind, and they don't want to hear nothing else. Yeah, they don't want to have a conversation. Mm-hmm. They they just they're fucking and I say that's closed minded. It's very closed minded because you don't want to learn another person's perspective. You just want to see your way. That's it. Nothing else. Yeah. That shit don't get nobody nowhere. Yeah. That shit is just it's just um it's a dead end. So again, why the fuck you comment if you don't have nothing to say or you don't want to speak about it? Everything you see on the internet. Is not meant to be commented on. You, it's perfectly okay if your dumbass keeps scrolling. Would have been a smart move in this one. Absolutely. <laughs> you know how much shit I see on my fucking Facebook wall, and I not today. Keep moving. But then again, there's my times where I'm like, eh, let me be an asshole. Like I got time today. And nine times out of ten, it's on her page. Yeah. And that's why so many of her friends block me because yo. I could have been, I was, I could have been an asshole. Yeah, you were, you were pretty. I, didn't, I also wrote, like, don't be an wait, ass. Wait, I said, wait. don't be an asshole. I was yeah, but that doesn't stop me. Yeah. What the yeah, fuck are you right. talking about? It's my nature. It's like, you can't yo, tell fuck, me to stop. Fuck your rules. That's like telling a fucking a, a bear to stop being a bear. You can't don't do that shit. Don't be an asshole. You can't tell an asshole to stop being an asshole. He's going to be an asshole. That's right. It's in his nature. So now I could have, I could have been like, nigga, please. I could have said some wild shit like that, right? Mm-hmm. To, 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 to agitate and troll, but I didn't do that. Mm-hmm. Because I, I really wanted to have that conversation on there. Yeah, you didn't I, want it to I get really, ignorant. No, I really wanted to have the conversation but, as well. And I then really somebody, somebody, but then, what was it? Mm. I forgot where, oh yeah, it was Saturday, I believe it was. I saw one of, her, one of the people commented, oh, he's not black, he shouldn't use it. Now I'm like, who's he? Yeah. She talking about me? Or she talking about... I said, okay. so. Yeah, because he also couldn't see the whole conversation. No, <laughs> I blocked. could. I could. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could see the conversation. Who you thought blocked me didn't block me. Mm-hmm. They probably blocked me now. <laughs> no, but so there's when, a lot of parallels, though. When she, said, when she said he shouldn't use it, mind you, this is, this is um, a post promoting the pod. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Maybe she saw the pod. Nah, he black. He, he not black. He can't use it. I thought maybe she could have been referring to me. I thought so. So I just went, who's Ooh. he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and while while I said who's he, I'm sitting there loading up the asshole gun, bro. Just I got ready, him. You ready to unload the clip? I'm it ready, bro. Fat Joe, not you, <laughs> Fat Joe, the other Fat Joe. And she came running, boy. The other Fat Joe. Bro, she came running. She answered in like 2.3 seconds. <laughs> no, she was talking about Fat Joe. I'm like, oh. Not you, Fat Joe. The other Fat Joe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'm about to say. Like, <laughs> I, I'm about to delete my whole listen, man, my whole profile. Because and, and listen, because of that, because of that, like we got some views though. <laughs> but because of because of that, I asked my homeboy because I was with my homeboys, my BW brothers. I was going to ask you what they thought. What and I asked I asked my said. boy cousin. I'm like, hey yo, what is, what is your thoughts on? If you're walking down the street, let's say, right, you don't know an individual, and you hear, let's say it's to do my my complexion. And these are the boys what? you grew up with in the project. No, nah, I mean, well, cousin grew up in my project, mm-hmm. but these are my boys. I'm with high school with them. These are my right, brothers, right. my brothers. Um, I said, what, what is what is? I don't. I want to take me out of it because right. I'm so close to them, right? Right. So I said, what are, what are your thoughts if let's say you you chilling outside somewhere, you walking down the street. And you see a dude, my complexion, like, yo, my nigga, what are your thoughts? Mm-hmm. And he just said that he thought, he's like, hmm. I'm like, how do, you, how do you take that? How do you filter that? Like, mm-hmm. what goes through your mind before you say anything? Like, if you, if you say something. Right. Like, do you, you take into account maybe where he's been, maybe how he comes across, his character, how he's delivering it, his vibe? Like... Because like on the last episode, I said, with me, it's never been an issue. Yeah. 
I could, you could introduce me to someone. I'm like, I'm like, yo, what's good, my nigga? Mm -hmm. Shake their hand. But it's always, they, they've never been like, yo, why the fuck you say that word, bro? Yeah. It's never been that, ever. Yeah. And I just always attribute it to like, these motherfuckers know. Like they feel the vibe, they know, they know who I am. Word up. They, they feel who I am. Yeah. You can feel a, a, a certain person, you can feel an individual's energy. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I mean? So, and I felt like they just knew my energy. Like I'm, I grew up around black folk. You know what I mean? And it's oh, I've always been addressed that way. Right. No, they didn't look at me and be like, "Oh, he a white boy. I can't say it around Joe." Nah, it was yo. What's good, nigga? Oh, what's good, my nigga? Like, but it's never. I've never used it in any other way. It was. It was. It was like like in the hood. It's used as a term of endearment. Right, right, like oh, that's my nigga right there. Mm -hmm. Right, so that's how growing up, and I'm talking about from early childhood. Yeah, I've been a, I grew up in the fucking projects. I've been around nothing but black folks the majority of my life. For the most part, the white people I've been around was my family. Yeah, and since me and me and my moms and my sisters didn't, we lived in the projects. They didn't come around too much. Right? So I'm not, I don't have the closest relationship with that side of the family. There's certain ones, certain cousins that I'm like really tight with, but for the majority of it, my aunts and uncles, yeah, I'm gonna keep it a whole buck. Like I'm not close like that with them. You know what I mean? So I, they never used the shit like that. But me growing up, and bro, I, all my fucking life, man, I had that conversation and people, Making remarks. Oh, you think you black? No, I don't fucking think I'm black. I know I'm Honduran and I'm, I'm half Irish. I know this. Mm -hmm. But I'm a product of my environment. I'm a product of his projects. Yeah. This is who I was raised to be. This is my friends in the projects. My Everybody, everybody I interacted with in the school, in number nine school in Jersey City, in, in the projects, Montgomery projects. This is, this is how I was taught how to be. This is the person that developed from my environment. Yeah. I'm not trying to be nobody. I'm not, like I said last time, I'm not looking for nobody's fucking validation. Right. I don't give a fuck. I am me. If you don't like me, get the fuck out of here. You don't so, got to talk. I don't, I'm not begging nobody to like me. I'm not begging nobody to talk to me. I don't give a fuck. And y'all know me. I really don't give a fuck. But this is who I am. I never saw the word, like I know the history of the word. Mm -hmm. But if you want to use that argument, if you want to use, oh, if you know the history of the word, you shouldn't use it. Then if you know the history of the word as a black individual, you should not use that word. Right. Mm. Well, some people Do, wait, feel like they can hold, use that. Hold on. Sorry. Hold on. Mm -hmm. I don't understand that, but there's the people, I'm referring to the people right there that say, oh, he's not black, he can't use it. Right. Oh, oh but you black, so you can use it. Let's keep it a whole buck. Right? Well, I know where it, you're going. It originated, <laughs> it originated from it's it's a racial slur, right? Right. Do you hear Latinos walking around like, yo, this what's up, my spit? Nope. Do you hear that? No. Nah, Latin, you call a Latino a spit, you, it's a problem. Mm -hmm. Right? Do you hear white people talking about, yo, what's up, cracker? Nope. No, you don't. Well, but see, this is the thing. Asians though. don't refer to themselves as chinks either. Listen, that's a fight. But, no, but some I've, I've heard Asians say, you know, and joking. But this is what I was gonna say. I, I credit I credit black folk for taking the word and flipping it. Yeah. To make it like like to make it theirs. Yeah. Cause yo, they that's basically them eight mile in this shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So as a young kid, I'm fat kid, whatever. You know what I mean, it was it was. The fat boy jokes and shit. Mm -hmm. That shit could be hurtful as a kid, right? What did I do? I embraced it. You know what I mean? Like, I started embracing that shit. So I called myself Big Joe and stupid, like shit like that. And then I, and now, now it's, it don't hurt me no more. Mm -hmm. So that's who, that, I knew the history of the word, the N word. But it's like, oh, they flipped it. Oh, it don't hurt no more. My thing is, words, only have power when you give it power. Yep. 
right? So when a racist throws the N word, they're looking for a certain reaction. Right. They're using it to get that reaction to hurt you, to cut deep, right? Yep. If you don't give them that power, you don't give them that reaction, immediately you won, they lost. Yep. Immediately. But when you come out of character, because somebody said a word, mm-hmm. you, you're, you're going to lose in that situation. Absolutely. So, and that goes back to um, your, your thought process on, and it determines your reaction. Mm-hmm. So when you sit there and you attribute my skin color, not being able to say a word because of my skin color, Right, and not taking into consideration my background, my upbringing, my character, my morals, how I love black people in general. If you don't, if you don't know me, you don't take any of that shit into consideration, and you're just thinking, "Oh, he got white skin, he can't say that word." Your reaction is always going to lead you to a loss. Yeah, always because you're going to be, like, "Oh, who the fuck is you?" You're going to get anybody saying that word is going to get the rea- the negative reaction out of you that. You don't need to have. Like if somebody called me a spick, I'm gonna like, what'd you say? <laughs> but I'm, I'm like, yo, who the fuck you talk? You can't say that. I'm not gonna do that. Cause sometimes, like, like especially, but it's a different, it's a different scenario. Cause spick isn't so widely used and 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 ingrained in slang. Right. Right. You know what I mean? It's not used in, in, as frequently and as, um in that term and or like that term of endearment type of thing like yeah and it's a newer kind of term yeah and you know the n word was you yeah the n word was used long before that mm-hmm. so i don't know that's what that was my thing like she has the negative mindset like oh well, you white you can't say it. listen man i got a lot of brothers my brother that they never question me. I'm I'm one of the, I'm one of them. I'm one of the one of the guys with them. That's how that's how we talk. I'm like, but I'm not I'm not copping. Please, I'm I don't. I'm never ever trying to offend nobody. You grew, you grew up in a black culture, mother. Not that. that's, Word. that's, that's real, real talk. No, and it's for real. I didn't grow up with Yo, my black family. Listen, man, it's a joke amongst my friends and people that know me. Because a lot of these people, some some of these people that are watching, I don't even know who's watching anymore. You know what yeah. I mean? There's people that's watching. I think we, we all some people. <laughs> somebody, somebody out there. I'm just saying, there's people <laughs> watching that I didn't know was watching that I found out was watching type shit, right? Mm-hmm. So, um, it's a joke amongst my friends or whatever. Like, I'm black to some black people. Like, like my homeboys be like, "Yeah, black ass." You know what I mean? Like, and it's a joke, but they like they know they know who I am. Like because, because it's deeper than skin. It's, yeah, it, it's you like skin. You like skin, Joe. No, I always but, say I'm 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 black, albino. but I'm albino. <laughs> but it's like the the culture, right? Mm-hmm. What's what's the culture that you're in? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's some of the same elements that hip hop birthed in, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Where it was Puerto Ricans and blacks at the time, mm-hmm. and how you think they talk to each other. Talk to each other the same fucking way. Mm-hmm. That's why Fat Joe in that interview said they've been calling me niggas since two I was years two old. years old. Yep. <laughs> and it's the same with me. I was in the project. Yo, was on the no, but you, you exactly. Know, I have a friend. He grew up in. He's he's a little older. He grew up in like in Bronx. He, he's Puerto Rican, but he, he why is she like you? You want didn't even think he Puerto Rican. He said, you know, I didn't know I, I wasn't black until somebody told me. He said he was like six. And they told him something like, oh, you know, if you were over here, you'll be here. And he was like, wait, what do you mean? And they were like, yeah, you're not black. Like, what do you mean? I'm not like, you know, you're the kid. No, I knew I, knew, I, I, that, um, yeah. I, I knew I wasn't black. Yeah, but no, it's because like that, his his brother, like he's the lightest one in his family. So but I will he, say this. To, as a kid, he's like, what do you mean I'm not black? Like, he didn't get it. And he was like, oh, like. No, no, I will say this. Not- I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't make a distinction between black folk and me. Right. They, yeah. I'm not. You know what I mean? I'm like y'all. <laughs> I, I'm just one of the guys from the projects. Right. You know what I mean? There's, we all grew up in the same. We all growing up in the same projects. Mm-hmm. We all going through the same shit. 
You know what I mean? We all dealing with the same bullshit. I'm one of you. You one of me. Like we 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 the same people. Yeah. I knew I was a white boy. Well, a Latino white boy. You know what I mean? But in grammar school, I and that's a whole nother now, element. Growing up in grammar school, once once I learned the history of the United States and slavery. Yo, bro, like real talk, I was little and like I was young, maybe what? When did he start teaching? The fourth, fifth grade? No, probably yeah, earlier, third, uh, fourth. Fifth grade, I think, because uh, that's when you do US history. It, it was it was probably before then I learned of it. And but Catholic, I'm, Catholic school is there. No, no, no. I was I was in public school. Oh, public school? All yeah. right. But this is in the eighties. And I remember like when I found out, I started like, nah, I ain't I ain't white. I didn't want to be associated with that. Yeah. I was I was ashamed that white, I was half white and that white people did this shit. You know what I mean? Like, so it was a joke. And I many people from Montgomery Project and that went to number nine school and be like, yeah, you white. I'm like, nah, I ain't white, I'm Honduran. So they know me for that. That was the running joke back then when I was little. So when I grew up, you know what I mean? And they were like, and like let's say somebody didn't see me in a while, like they moved away and they came back. Mm-hmm. Oh shit, what up, Joey? You ain't white, you a Honduran. Like, <laughs> that was a joke because I was always like, nah, I ain't white. Right. So much so that my mother was hurt because I was like, nah, I ain't white. I'm Latino. I'm a Honduran. I embraced my Latino because I didn't want shit to do with But you know what? You, you know what I find though too? Like when I was having a conversation with someone, they were like, it's it's also um like almost like sap- she was telling me how um it's also sabotaging when well, sab- white folk or whatever sabotage themselves when they don't want to identify with those people because they're the ones who can talk to, like, let's say white people. I'm like, but you, a white person, wouldn't want to even fucking listen to you. Who, you said, went, who said that though? This was a conversation I had with somebody about but, why white skinned people okay, shouldn't. So like, and that was like, listen, but listen to me. Your damage goes to white people. Listen to what I'm saying. <laughs> you said that somebody said that that free, that that statement, mm-hmm. right? That person, what was their their race, national, whatever? Black. They were black. Okay. Yeah, so she was just like, you know, white people. But you be- can't, you can't, as a white, half white individual, growing up around majority black folk, you can't, you gotta understand, like, I look at, I have nothing but love for black folk, right? Like, I love black people because that's who I grew up with. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, black people are beautiful people, right? So, as a kid, this is who I know. This is my community. These are the people that I've grown, grown up with. So to see like white people hurt them the way they did, I'm like, damn, I don't want to be part of that shit. I don't want to be associated with that. Nah, that ain't me. Uh, and it, and it, speaks, it speaks to your character if you was a kid yeah. and you felt something wrong nah, bro. about what you heard you know, or what you learned. That's just crazy, lot, bro. Adults don't even acknowledge that stuff. You exactly. Know what I mean? So that, that you got to get credit for that. But it's like, even you know, when they talk about Latinos, right? Yeah. In my family, we got all colors. Yeah. I got people that's dark, like the they from Sudan, bro. Word. My grandma. So it's like <laughs> we we don't see that. But when we call each other these names, it's it's love. Oh. Who was it? Um, I think it was on a, on a comedy show. Latin King is a comedy. And if I'm not mistaken, it was Paul Rodriguez. He said, Latino people, we come, on, we come in all colors under the sun. Yeah. We got from the blackest Sammy Sosa <laughs> to the whitest Christina Aguilera. We come in all colors. Facts. Although Sammy Sosa ain't black no more. Uh, so <laughs> like, like, like a Tego Calderon. He like the, yeah. mother, he like the mother Cubans. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, or, or, or a big poppy like uh, David Ortiz. Yeah. That if he didn't talk Spanish, Clemente, bro. It's like, yeah, like Latinos come in all colors, oh, man. That, and that's what makes it like, beautiful. And like I said, my father, my biological father, is darker than her. He's dark. He's a Honduran. Oh. But that's when color colorism and the whole racism thing. I think that's where. The conversations change, you know what I mean? Because it's like I, think, I didn't know the difference between I'm a black Spanish girl, you a white Spanish. Like I didn't know the difference. Like I'm the darkest out of my siblings. My kids are like 
all different shades too. My grandmother was dark as night. My grandfather was white skin with blue eyes, but you know? So a like, lot I of didn't shit... distinguish it until older where it's like, oh no, the black ones, the white ones. And mm. I'm like, wait, what? What the, f we're all speaking the same language. A <laughs> lot of this shit comes it. from the, the thought process from back then. Yeah. A lot of this shit, a lot of these thought processes are adopted from this old shit. Yeah. Like that's why the conversations need to be had. Absolutely. That's why we need to, we can't be like, I don't want to have this conversation. No, let's talk. You gotta yeah. break those shackles. Break that shit. Because this black people, they, they, you look at the memes online. Yeah, Dark skinned niggas line? and light skinned niggas. Yeah, why are you acting skin? why you acting light skinned for acting like, light skin? What does that but even that, mean though? Bro, like, that's what I'm saying. Like there, it goes beyond this. It's old fucking Colonial fucking thinking. Yeah, no, they, like they the dark you are, the worse you are, and and they the had the chart. The bag test. <laughs> no, they had the chart. Yeah, they had like you know the European, then they had what like the mestizo, the the mulatto, mm -hmm. yeah, like all the different mixtures, and then it was you know the African mm -hmm. on the bottom. So it's like that shit that you know. Obviously, America adopted the same bullshit. Now, they called it different things. Now, look, look, I'm one to for the jokes. I always love the jokes. Mm -hmm. So, like, I could tell fat jokes. And I'm not gonna get offended. Right. I'm. We talk about that shit. We not. We not soft. We not easily offended at all. So yes, we can joke about it. But the problem is the people that really feel this way, that the lighter skin has more privilege. And I mean, granted, it's still a racist society. Absolutely. There's probably some truth to that. Yeah. But we have to we have to have conversations. We have to get past that shit. How are we that's gonna the, learn? Yeah. That's the only way you're gonna learn. Yeah. If not, we're just gonna keep repeating the same shit that hasn't worked for the last fucking 400 fucking years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And stay divided. Yeah. Fuck that, man. That's that no, bro. Unfortunately, bro, racism never gonna leave. It's never gonna be it's never gone. It's always gonna be racist, but hopefully we can get to a fucking place where this country isn't like that, bro. <laughs> but it's gonna. It's, hey, this country is built on. Not that, in my boy. fucking lifetime, bro. <laughs> nope. But I'm gonna do everything the fuck I can to fight that shit. Yeah, you, you yourself yeah. could be the change that yeah. you want to see in the world. Yeah. yeah so. And, yep. And especially like now, I feel like conversations need to be had because it's like, for example, me, me, I got three kids. I'm still, I'm, having, I'm still at this age, still having to like unlearn, relearn, learn, period. Well, that's that's called different, life. Yeah, different things, right? But again, I'm exposed to different things I was never exposed to in my life, right? So I've a lot of my views in the last, like, say, few years changed, you know, because I've had conversations or I'm like, oh, I never I never saw that like that or I never knew that or I was never exposed to that, so I wasn't ever aware of something like that, right? So I'm not a lost cause so much, let's say. <laughs> but mm -hmm. aside from that, like, because I have kids, I'm able to be like, let me show you what I let me show you what I know now, and let me teach you from what I know now, because so that way you're not like left in the dark like I was all these years. You know what I mean? Because yeah, that we we're the ones who have to teach the kids who are you know they're gonna have to be dealing with these other kids, and like you said, it'll just be a continuous cycle. Like, what if I keep what if we keep doing the whole uh, light skin dark skin uh, you know culture with with my kids? Like, is it ever gonna stop? Like, no, I gotta teach them like. I gotta teach somebody like my daughter, like, look, you light skinned, but you're black because is she gonna grow up with a complex like me until she's in fucking thirties? Like, yeah. no, you're good. Let me tell you, cause this nobody ever told me cause I never knew. Let me tell you what the world looks like now and what you can expect because let somebody tell you you ain't this, you know exactly who you are, not because of what anybody's telling you, but just so you're aware. Yeah. Because I'll be damned if somebody gonna tell me, <laughs> but never. You know what I mean? And even like, even with like the whole like sexuality thing, even too, you know, like there's some things some people don't, like kids don't even know because it's like our parents never talked about it, but it's like, I'm not going to throw my kids into this world blindly and act like it doesn't exist or act like things aren't there because I have to teach them because I grew up very naive, you know, like I'm just, oh, shit. You're still I, naive. I grew up very naive because, oh, because cause yes, I was sheltered, but then when I was exposed to these things, I'm like, wait. What? Like I don't even have an opinion. Like, I don't even have an opinion about something. So I'm like, I don't even know this shit <laughs> existed. You know what I mean? So I think that's why it's, it is definitely important for us to have conversations so that as adults that we are, even if we don't have children, just teaching 
with people younger than us, teachers, nieces, nephews, kids around the block. Like we have to teach them to do better than we did. You know what it's, I mean? It's, that's called living in a community. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that that that's with all this bickering and shit like, oh, color and, you know, light skin, dark skin. When you aren't a unified people, you are easily controlled and easily manipulated. Mm -hmm. Because y'all can't even agree on anything. So now that's why somebody else comes and gives you the fucking rules and dictates to you what's what. Right. When you should be self-defining it and you know, loving your brother, loving your sister. Right. Like, does it matter if you're fucking light skin or if you're dark skin? Like, no. If you're a real person, if you're upstanding character, mm -hmm. that's all that matters. Well, because when they talk about these, let's say, privileges, right? Oh. Light skin privilege, Girl. let's say, right? Uh -huh. Those privileges are going to continue to exist if we continue to divide ourselves. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, it's like, if I continue to be like these light skins and the dark skins, if we continue to perpetuate yeah. those things, those privileges are going to continue to stay okay. alive. But... This is a good segue. Mm -hmm. When you said privileges, a lot of that shit, when people start talking about throwing out other people's privileges, a lot of that shit comes from self uh, issues, like self esteem issues. Yeah, low self esteem. For example, you mentioned one time that somebody told you that there's pretty girl privilege. Yeah, pretty girl privilege and light skin privilege. <laughs> That means. What the fuck is pretty girl privilege? I didn't even know it was pretty. Thank you, girl. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you what that sound like to me. Oh I could be the asshole. You could call me an asshole. Nah. That's fine. I embrace Keep you. Give it a buck. But that just sounds like she got a low self esteem, and she mad that this pretty girl was given something or or had something that she didn't. Yeah. Like, no, you need to stop worrying about what other people have and worry about fixing your fucking self. Mm. A lot of shit stems from self esteem issues yeah like the fucking and we were talking about it earlier women and i this is my thing my, a lot of women have self-esteem issues they do and yeah. and it, it don't matter how fine they are yeah because they could be they could be fine as hell they still and have not. no self-esteem or they got the insecurities out there a lot of insecurities why fucking because they listen work because they listen to shit that society says mm -hmm. or their friends yeah. They part of society. Yeah. They listen to social media. Yeah. So, and I'll go back to this. I, I mentioned it here before that me and her and some of her friends, well, my mm -hmm. friends, one's not. Um, one block. Um, sorry, I'm being an asshole. <laughs> uh, so it was like some girl walked by, you could clearly tell like she had work done, right? She yeah. Had a big old booty that would. It, you could tell it was it was work because the the ass to thigh ratio was off. Right. So That's we knew, I knew off jump it was a fake boot. Mm -hmm. Right. Because guys know. You do. And Girlfriend. yeah. So, so um, one of her friend, one of Steph's friends, she made the comment, "Oh, uh, that's what guys want." Like, no, it's not. You just want real chicks. Nah, you know, you know okay. You no, know, you be paying attention. You look at it. Yes, I'll look at it. Should I look at it? It's, it's there. It's a Why the old, fuck can I look at it? Big old butt. But I'm not, no guys are, well, not real men. Yeah. Let's let's say that. Mm -hmm. Real men. Good, good. Real men are not, because I don't want to, I don't want to generalize. Right. Let's, let's specific, real men. I'm not gonna tell a girl, nah, yo, you need to go get some booty work. <laughs> you need to go get some fake titties. <laughs> They're not gonna do that. <laughs> you need to get some lip injections. Girl. Yo, the fuck? Women do that shit to, for themselves. They do. They do that to 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 to, to kind of like fix some kind of self esteem issue going on. Oh, I think my booty too flat. I need a bigger butt. Mm -hmm. Oh, I I, I wish I had. It's to overcompensate for their insecurities, bro. Thank you. Perfect way to put it. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, for just on the beauty shit, makeup and all that type of shit. You tell me what fucking man is gonna be like, damn son, look at her eyelashes. Them shit's big <laughs> as hell. Word. Them shit's set. No. 
We don't give a fuck. Women no. do that shit for themselves. I clown bitches with the big ass fucking snuffle up. Snuffle up against eyes. Yes, <laughs> snuffle up against eyes, bro. Like, you about to fly away with them shits, bro. That shit, it looks retarded. <laughs> don't blink too fast. That shit looks Looking like a hummingbird and shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but men don't look for that, that petty shit. No. That's women focusing on that. Exactly. Men don't want a woman that wear like excessive amounts of makeup and shit. No. Sit there for three hours doing your makeup. Looking like Ronald McDonald and shit. Listen, man. My woman asked me, she's like, oh, babe, how am I going to I'm like, babe, you look fine. You don't need to put no makeup on. Oh, no, I do. I do. Nah, you good. I'm good. You not don't do that for me. I love I love you how you are. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? My boo said that I look pretty when I wake up. <laughs> I mean, sometimes guys lie. <laughs> I was like, I look. I look Some guys. I was like, you see me? Wake I get up. it, bro. I look crazy. Yeah. Pretty. I was like, oh well. That's what's up. Mean. You pretty too. C- Cipher, don't get gassed. All right? Yeah. <laughs> Cipher, don't. That needs to be a fucking drop. Cipher, don't. Press the button. Press the button. <laughs> no. But yeah, guys don't do that shit, bro. We yeah. don't. We don't. We don't look. We don't want these women to go get this work. The no. whole. But if they do it, yeah, we're gonna look. That's about it. But see, that us looking is what you want us to do. Mm-hmm. So it's there. They doing it for attention. Yeah. So I might as well give them the attention. Let me look at that ass. It's there. It's like, now you're a pervert. No. So what? <laughs> but like, oh, just... hold the fuck up. Let's let. Oh no, no, we going there. I'm a fucking pervert because I look at a girl's ass. But how many fucking girls talking about? Oh, gray sweatpants. Let me see the print. The fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. Where's the? the oh, let's go. Double standards. And welcome Double to standards. Where's HR? Where's HR? Double standards out this motherfucker. Hurry right up. Gray sweatpants. Bitches love some gray fucking sweatpants and want to see a nigga dick print. But I can't look at a fucking girl ass. When she wearing, when she wearing tight ass fucking pants, leggings with no panties. Word or the leggings and the tight ass shits where if she just like kind of like bend her leg, you see the fucking panties through the shit. You see the panties where, through the where, shit. Where, where are you going? <laughs> down the fucking down Central Avenue. Go, go take a stroll. You live near there. Down Burger Lodge. Go ahead. These bitches wear these fucking these tights that. I guess they be buying them extra too small or some shit. Yeah, because yeah. they be taking all the smalls. Because small, when I go to the store to buy clothes, ain't no smalls left. But Can wait, you, you, get shop, you, you shop in the kids section, right? I don't shop at the kids. I was really upset. She shops in the men's store. I was really mad. Well, I was to the store. Boys. I could not find a guy. <laughs> I couldn't find a guy that's small. She's doing Oshpa, Oshpa, Spagash, whatever Oshkosh, Spagash, whatever the fuck. Oshkosh, Yeah. Oshkosh, Spagash. See, this, she, she knows. She still has yeah. it. <laughs> My point, exactly. But yeah, you know, like that's that. There's a lot of double fucking standards. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, but you you have the whole police out after you if you fucking look word, said word. even said something, bro. In it's, public, it's it's fucking. You got to tread fucking lightly with women these days. <sighs> you got to tread lightly. And I'll give you the personal story, right? Let's hear it, Joe. So when I was on a second date with my lady. Mm-hmm. We went to a driving movie. It's COVID. So we went to a driving movie so we never around people, just me and her. Mm-hmm. I didn't make a move. I didn't nothing. Well, you're also a gentleman, Joe. I am. Yeah, but, but uh, I mean but, I'm a guy. But it sucks that he had to even like think about like so wait, when you should. Wait. So like I think the movie might have finished. Cause it was it was like a two two movie feature, right? So it was like uh it was around Halloween. As a matter of fact, it was on Halloween. Mm-hmm. It was a uh, uh, what's the shit with the big ass flower that eat people. Oh, uh, Little Shop of Horror. Little Shop of Horror. Mm-hmm. And then the second one was gonna be Beetlejuice. It was old school shit, right? Mm-hmm. Drive to drive. Yeah, driving to shit. So I think Little Shop of Horror finished, and she was like, she looked at me and she was like, um, "So you gonna kiss me?" <laughs> and I'm like. Shit, yeah, and I started turning it down. Green light. So that's that's it. The green light. Let me know, right? And then, so as we were dating or whatever, she brought it up again, right? Like, oh yeah, like I had to make the move. I had to tell you, so you made the move. I said, yeah, I wasn't trying to get me tooed out here. Word. I'm like, you got to understand, and this is my thought process. 
the times we living in. You got to be careful. And you don't got to be in the workplace. Oh. You could be anywhere. Public. And if it feels unwelcomed, if a dude flirts with a woman, it's unwelcomed. That's sexual harassment. I, I'm like, yo, you, 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 it could be joke, joke all you want. But at the end of the day, I got to look out for me. I have to. You know what I mean? And until you gave me the okay, I couldn't make that move. Right. I wasn't trying to like, because it's, it's hard to find or, or know if you're quote unquote being too aggressive. Mm -hmm. Because bro, a simple, wow, that, that looks good on you could be a too aggressive for somebody. Right. Because we're such a, in such a fucking sensitive time. Well, remember I was telling Thank you. Thank you fucking yeah. weak was, ass culture. Pussies. I was telling you, um, I, I saw some things before, like, what was it? Somebody, it was like a little illustration. It was like a, a, real, a good looking guy, you know, whatever that could be subjective, but the looking guy told a, a lady in the workplace, like, oh, you look, you look beautiful. Mm -hmm. And she was like, yeah, thank you. And that's considered flirting, right? I don't do the other guy who wasn't so attractive saying, oh, you look beautiful. And that was sexual harassment in the workplace. It was unwarranted. And I'm like, mm -hmm. damn, Wait, I, that's messed up. But if he was a quote unquote good looking guy, Oh, with some money, oh, money. Oh, it's all, it's all great. It's all gravy. Yeah, They're welcomed. Be like, yo, I got five minutes for lunch. Uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> oh, so where we going to eat for lunch? Huh? Then, then it's gonna be gonna the, break the, you the, off. Then, then word. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Like that's the bullshit. But then if a guy does that shit, oh, he's he's a fucking he's a horrible human being. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't accept, all right, so. Let's say a big guy, right? Somebody my size goes to hit on a chick. She don't seem. I'm not her type. Mm -hmm. Oh no, oh, I'm good. Man. But then, uh, uh, let's say some, you know, cocky nigga come up and he look good to her. That's her type. Boom. He he could be more raunchy, more wild, whatever. Slap she accept the ass and shit. She could. She'll be happy that. because she like him, right? Yep. But now, let's say a guy. Let's say a big girl wants to like make a move at a guy or she's trying to flirt with him and he's like, nah, like he, he brushes her off or now he an asshole because he's not accepting of the big girl. Yeah. But it's perfectly fucking fine when women not accepting of the big guy or the, the less attractive guy or it, he could be a skinny guy, just ugly. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because let's keep it real, there's ugly people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've seen a bunch of them. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's here with a beautiful face. I mean, you got ugly. <laughs> I, I was trying to like include you for oh, once. Shit. You ain't included. I was trying to include you. <laughs> that, was, that was good, bro. I was bro. trying to be nice. That's <laughs> what I get for being nice. Yeah. Damn. Oh, shit. So, but that's the bullshit, man. It, it, the double standard is crazy. Mm -hmm. I wrote another one. The other one was. Oh, the. Um, and we we went on this topic because we was talking about uh what's your homeboy Nick Kevin Samuels, Kevin Samuels hot ass mess but I get it he ain't no hot ass mess yeah, I, he's no, a real ass motherfucker yeah, don't, don't put that disclaimer no, no, before saying I think, his name no I only say because of del his delivery purposes so okay all right all right let me ask you a question am I a hot ass mess am I am I an yeah. asshole am I yeah but you accept me yeah right because of the way I deliver I don't give I don't fucking sugarcoat I know I tell her how the fuck it is. Mm. This man is doing exactly what Joe would say and do. Okay. So you can't, you can't, you can't judge that man when you're you're perfectly accepting of your homeboy doing that shit. Listen, Word. well, he's a public figure and he should have. A I'm little trying little. to be right now. He should have. Yeah. A little, he should have. That's a what we're doing well, wait, here. He's he just a bus driver, right? I'm just a lonely <laughs> bus driver. People. He's a public figure. We're back no, to no, that. No, no, he's he's a person who's supposed to be like helping people with image and. Uh, no, no, no. He he's not. He's not. Isn't he like an image consultant? He keeping it fucking real with people. Okay. So, the Kevin Samuel shit. Got it. Okay. No, stop. Stop judging the man. All right. All right. I'm, I'm listening, guys. Doing what these bras so be doing. When, if, if a woman, he basically what he's saying is a woman wants a man that has a six-figure salary, handsome, well put together, maybe work style, maybe in shape, all that, right? She got these high standards for herself, right? Kevin Samuels is like, all right, what are you bringing to the table? Mm. How much do you make a year? How much do you weigh? Uh, 
Like, what do you look like? You know what I mean? Like, what? how tall are you? What is your weight? But, and that, okay, I'm sorry. Let me let you finish. Women do that shit all the fucking time. I want all a time. man that is this height. Mm-hmm. They do that shit. Short dudes don't get a lot of they, love. They winning, they winning. In they don't get a lot of love. Lou! <laughs> <laughs> My, I got a boy named, I got a, my boy, my boy Louis, he, he short, he was damn, he be like, yo, you wear high heels, girl, I'm comfortable. But listen, right, right. listen, short listen, people. let's not get off track, let's keep right, on right, track. Right, 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 but no, okay. Women do that shit. They do. Let's keep it, babe, I'm, I'm, my woman, like, she told me her type normally before me was like tall, six, five, six, seven, like tall, tall dudes. I'm like six. She, tra- she craps me, say I'm like five, ten. <laughs> Stop playing. But. Mind you, she like down here to me, right? Like she mad short compared to me. But she told me, oh, you short. But women do that. Yeah. I'm perfectly fine with my woman. I'm, I'm secure with what I got, right? But a lot of women do that. I want a, I want a tall dude. I don't want no oh, nigga yeah. that's- Oh, yeah, and they say- I don't want no nigga that's less than body. six feet. Uh-uh. It's perfectly fucking fine for women to say what they want, what their type is. They, they, they limit themselves to this, 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 and this. Mm-hmm. But when a man does it, he ain't shit. Yep. Oh, why you not accepting her? She, she a big, beautiful woman. Okay, well, go find a fucking man that wants a big, beautiful fucking woman. <laughs> I know a bunch of niggas that do that. Right. They like the big chicks. And, and then you can flip the script on them and say, are you out here giving big dudes a chance? Nah, I ain't flipping shit. Fuck them. I don't care what they do. At the end of the day, don't tell me, oh, you got you to gotta accept women for they big... Hey, I'm all for big people loving who they are. If a big girl like love who she is and she have self-esteem, so by all means, because I ain't I am not a low self-esteem type of motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, like I said, confidence is one of the most sexiest things you could have. It's very fucking attractive. I was telling her before, like I could let's say I was single and I was talking to a chick who on a if you want to rate her looks, right? Let's say she's like a nine out of ten, right? On a scale of ten, she's like a nine out of ten, right? But if she's like mad, like self conscious and low self esteem, bro, she's mad unattractive right. to me. Mm-hmm. We were talking about somebody who is a pretty girl a that one. we both know. Like she's a pretty girl, <laughs> nice body, very nice yeah. body, all of that. But her her self esteem is trash, and it's like it takes away from her so much. Yeah. So I'm I'm all for people being confident and you know having high self esteem. But just because you're high self esteem, don't mean I have to fucking accept you and take your advance. Well, that exactly. that, that goes to show. I'm I'm, 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 a, I'm a confident dude, right? We're but I know I'm people. not I'm not I'm not every girl type. I don't expect that. But I'll tell you one thing, and you can ask any of my motherfucking exes. I'm usually the first big dude they fuck with. Why? Because it's the way I, I, I approach them. Yeah, the way my confidence is speaks volumes. Like I don't, I'm not no no timid ass. Oh, I know. I joke around like, oh yeah, I'm an ugly. I know I ain't ugly, but I, I joke around. Like I have a joke, with my girl. I was like, yeah, I'm a white Shrek. She hates when I do it, right? But I do it. It's funny. I could crack jokes on myself and and, and not. It's not low self esteem. It's just me joking. Yeah, I'm not sensitive. So there's like a, there's literally an app or a filter on Snapchat where you it makes your face look like Shrek. So I took the picture and I said, "Yo, babe, I told you I look like white Shrek." She's like, "Delete." I hate this fucking picture. So I, I'll do it occasionally. I send a picture. We look like Shrek. <laughs> so, but self esteem is a great thing. But you would you, the fact that you, we were talking about like the whole like money and stuff before. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. I think it's really good. Like when you said when when. Let's say like the confidence thing, right? Because I mean, we we spoken about you know you dated women or seen women that they make less money than you, make more money than you, or whatever it may be, mm-hmm. and you don't feel any kind of way about no. yourself about that because because yes, I'm dope as fuck. Well, that's why because at the end of the day, it's like okay, cool, you got your money or whatever. You, you have to be a responsible adult, regardless, right? Like whatever. So I think you know that kind of made me think when you said you know that Kevin Samuels the whole interview when a lady's like, I want to attract a man that makes this much money. But then what you said before, if I say I, I want a girl, I don't want a broke bitch, but it's, yeah, it's yeah. a problem. That's the thing. Like, so if women say, oh, I don't want no broke dude. He got to make this six figure salary, this and that, right? He got to drive a, a, a Beamer, stupid shit like that, right? <laughs> 
if me as an individual, right, I'm a bus driver. I make decent pay. Okay? You know what I mean? Let's say I'm like, nah, I don't want no bitch that make less than six figures a year. She gotta, she gotta be, she gotta have a slim waist, fat ass. She gotta, she gotta like be a fucking CEO, a president of or CEO of a fucking company. She gotta drive a Benz or a beam. If I say that shit, yo, I'm the biggest piece of shit in the world in women's eyes. Why the fuck are you judging women? Why the fuck are you labeling? Why are you doing this shit? Mm-hmm. But when a woman does it, it's perfectly fucking fine. Yeah, it's normal. That's bullshit. I'm not saying that I want dudes to go out and do that. I'm saying women need to cut that shit out. Word up. Hence why Kevin Samuel was like, what the fuck are you bringing to the table? Sure. Because that, that, that man that you're describing is only like 10 or 12% of the population, let's say. Yeah, if that. So you're shooting super fucking high. All right, what are you bringing to the table? Because... If these motherfuckers is up there and they got this money and they and they let's say they they're attractive, this and that, they're not whatever, looking for you. There's a lot of women out Facts. there that they're looking for that they're not looking for you. He's like, yo, you need to shoot for like a plumber who make who got a good fucking job, make good money. It's just not what you want. Right. He can take care of you, but it's not what you want. You want you want this fit motherfucker, but yet you out here like two fifty. Or two thirty at like five foot eight, and you looking like fucking Emma Smith. That's what he told the bitch. You look like Emma Smith. He should have said that. Why? Because because that bitch wasn't listening no way else. That's rude. Oh well, <laughs> it's not though. It's like, the fucking truth. It's just not. It's not sugar coated. Yeah. And you and and I'm saying that, but you if you watch the the, the videos, they arguing back. No, but I mean I mean, and, and it's like they just trying to get what they want. Mm-hmm. So now I right, you don't want to hear. Bitch, you look like Emma Smith. Who he ain't gonna want you looking like Emma Smith. Nope. Or having children because, and all listen, this shit. That's because listen, let's keep it a whole hundred. Dudes at that level, with that money, that all that, right? Those jobs, you know, the, the higher up there, that 12%. Their options are way more open than the plumber. <laughs> They a got they girl, got a whole girl, plethora no of women to choose from. Young girl, no children. They got a whole plethora of women to cho- choose from. Mm-hmm. They don't they don't gotta choose from your five five eight two hundred and fifty pounds. They don't care about your money. <laughs> with uh, with all that baggage that she's coming well, with well, too. Well, you know what's interesting. And demands. You know, yeah. what, you know what's <laughs> like you ain't doing shit. <laughs> I think what was interesting was she was, and you know, I'm pretty well off. Not rich or poor just kind of somewhere in the middle for my kids and myself uh, but she makes her own money which is fantastic Ooh. the lady that was she was talking to this Kevin Samuels dude I, I, I would she, hope so she's yeah. an adult right yeah, she, yeah. no she makes she makes like six figures herself she, she makes great money right. she's looking for a dude also that makes the same but then I'm like I don't think a man really cares if he makes that money, he's not really interested if you make that money because at the end of the day, yeah, men right. are providers too. Like he's like, oh, your money ain't doing nothing for me. Like, yeah, and that's why I, that's why I told y'all earlier, you're never gonna see a rich woman going for a broke ass dude, nope, or a guy that had has you know decent money. You know what I'm saying? Right. That he's 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 more humble. Mm-hmm. And a, a, a woman would never go down. Like, uh, well. Well, I'm, well, I mean, <laughs> like, like in, <laughs> yeah, no, I do, I do. There's a button for that. There's a bunch Joseph. of women that go down. There's a button for that. I'm just saying, There's like, a button for that comment, right? There. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, in, in status. Oh, oh, okay. Like, but, but the expectation. <laughs> These bitches are going down, my nigga. What's this? I have a womp, womp. There's a button for no, that. No, that ain't no womp, womp. That's funny. <laughs> um, anyway. Go ahead, go ahead. Can we cut that and put it in the go thing? Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> we childish. But women always want or expect men to settle for whatever they bring in. Mm-hmm. But we never see that coming from the women. Yeah. With that's, the men. That's true. So, like, if, if it's a CEO lady, right? Mm-hmm. She got her own business, whatever, whatever. Is she really going to date a plumber? She going to date a bus driver? Nope. Janitor? Nope. Uh, you know what she's going to be like? Get the fuck out of here. Yo, there's regular-ass women that don't want to date a janitor. Exactly. Mm. 
You know what's interesting? You, right? You don't want to yeah. be a janitor. That's why she raised her hand. Mm. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I had a statement. It's very uh. interesting because, like, um, me, and, me and a friend of mine, we were, like, talking about, like, you know, let's say celebrity men or rich men. And we're like, dang, they be really just out here with these, like, regular schmendly girls. And we're like, damn, we were just talking about, like, you know, art, like, music artists and stuff. We're like, dang, she ain't, like, the baddest bitch. She's just regular. Just regular. And we're like, so why do these girls be out here trying to be all this extra, extra stuff, trying to yo, find these men? When there's, like, they just, like, regular what, ass. Don't bitch. you understand? Didn't you get it when I said, yo, we don't look for that extra shit? Yeah. We just want a real ass female. Yeah. Are we looking at Instagram with the bitches with the made up bodies? Like, listen, man, wow, I really want to wife that when listen, I get listen, older. No. <laughs> like, yo, when a, when a nigga looking at, at a, a Instagram and he see these Instagram models with the fat booties and all that shit, first thing in his mind, like, God damn, I hate that. And then, That's the thought process. That's it. Swipe. Those women are in, the, in a man's mind and that's all they're good for. Yeah. But when when a, when a man wants a woman, he's not looking. At, if she has a big booty, she has all that. That's great. But what the man is looking for in a wifey, in a woman, in his significant other, mm-hmm. is someone that he can relate to, someone who he can connect with. Beyond physical shit. Heard <laughs> up. That's why a lot of these rappers, their wives aren't what you see in the yeah, videos. Yeah. Because they T. some I. real, they some real ass. Well, Tiny was pretty back when she was. She, she looked a lot better when she was back in the skin. But, but I'm saying, like, that's that's kind of let her go. Hey, whatever. Yeah, Come people be shopping. like, "Ew, you see what's the name? Why she or ooh? ooh. Like, just in general, like oh. people be like, "Oh, that one's like." But, but who the fuck like, are you to judge them? Let yeah, them yeah I'm not, I'm not, but they was Yo. talking about. They was talking about DJ Khaled. Like, I'm like, you better leave her alone. She punched by me. Like, she don't give a damn. Yo, oh, you think she wait, wait, wait. This, all right, this is this is off topic. Off topic. <laughs> What you said, DJ Khaled, and I was watching the shit. That nigga, did you see his um Breakfast Club interview? Where he was talking about he don't go down on a woman. Oh, I heard ever. About that. I ain't hear that ever. He, he don't. It was like he, he don't like, go down. He was like, nah. He's like, you know, like he don't. He won't go down on his woman. I heard that. He said, and he's not, he never went down on a woman. He's like that, but a woman has to go down on a man. Why? Because he's a king. That's a double motherfucking standard, right? And then, there. and then, and then, uh, what's her name on the show? Uh, Angela E. Yeah, Angela E's like, yeah, but she's a queen. He goes, of course, but he like, of I course. give her. He, that's how <laughs> he's of course. <laughs> and he was like, he's like, uh, he said some shit like, yeah, I give her her praises, like how was dinner, how <laughs> how you like this house, how you like the car, how you like your bills paid. I'm taking care of you, and your family, take care of my family. Like that's how I praise a that's woman. That's a big nigga. She right? need like. I'm a king. She got to go down on me, like, type shit, right? And then they said- That's not a double standard, DJ Khaled. I think that's, I think that's retarded. <laughs> a, a, a dude we that do don't promote, go down on his woman. We don't promote that. I nah. mean, this is, this is- Hey, hey it's what he want to do, but- well, Yeah. Hey, he it's his philosophy. I don't, I don't know. But, I mean, it is what it is. I just think pleasing a woman makes you, is the most manly feeling in the fucking world. Please me a woman. So whenever I gotta do, please my woman. You guys will say that the woman should do that and you don't have to. You're childish. Yeah. Go to the fucking corner. Think about what you did. You gotta think about like DJ Khaled and other people don't have the same luxuries. Like he what do you mean? No, I'm saying like he's a rich, he's rich out the ass, so he's gonna think that way about himself. Yeah, but no, no, no. This is no. This is ever in life. This is this is his thought process all his life. Oh, his whole life. Yeah, before he got on, he they said, "Oh, well, you know how it is. We got social media." Angeli was like, "Yo, there's gonna be anybody coming out saying like, you know, he lying because he like they could say whatever the fuck they want on there, but social media they lying. I never went, you know done that with a woman. Never right. went down. Did you try? You might like. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know." It's weird. It's just, I just found that weird. That like, you don't want to go down on your woman? That's now, there's certain shit that I'm like, oh, no, that's off limits. Now, nah, we're not doing that shit. <laughs> yeah, no. So, mm-hmm. that, that's off limits. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Now, I if, you would have said, if you would have said, nah, I don't let my girl eat my ass and shit. Hey, I'm with you, homeboy. I'm with you. We ain't Word. doing that shit over here. Doing Word. Doing stuff again, talking about that shit. I'm just saying. <laughs> there's certain shit that I, I feel as a man is off limits. Yeah, right? I agree. So, but that is not one of them. 
going down on my one. I don't have a fucking problem. Never had a problem with that. But the way he was saying it was like, it was like, nah, 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 never. Like, like, bro, what the fuck is the problem? Okay, shoot. I don't know. That's all I'm saying. I was saying that like, he's never had a problem eating anything else, maybe besides <laughs> pork. <laughs> but now, yeah, this nigga's an asshole, bro. Yo, I'm just, I'm just saying, dick. though, like, now you want to be picky, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> now? Okay. Yo. There ain't no calories in this, homeboy. That's why. That's why he don't want it. There ain't no calories in it. Exactly. Uh, I think I figured yeah, it out, that, yo. That, 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 that shit was funny. <laughs> it needs calories for Cali to eat it. There you go. Uh, That's hilarious. Man. All right. Makes sense. Makes yeah. sense. Damn. I don't give a shit about none of these goddamn double standards. I've lived the double standard life my whole entire time. Involved, we could tell. I married. Bendito. Mm-mm. Shut up. No, and you know what, people? Um didn't believe certain behaviors in that relationship because like i mean after everything it's like because you know he's good looking dude he presented himself as a good looking person and well put but it really wasn't that so it's like there was one shit there was even (laughs) there was even one time like um he told my kid like do you see me and do you see your mom like any woman and i'm just like let me start fucking talking to you when they're like this bitch. Like, you know what I mean? Because it was really much so like, you have to present yourself to See, be an attractive person, but you don't have shit. Nigga, you don't have money. Like, you have nothing. Yeah, that's just, <laughs> look, that's, that's that right there. But that there, was a double standard thing. Oh, well, listen, she must be up his ass. That shit right there don't make no fucking sense because if he feels like he's so much more attractive to you than you, right? Mm-hmm. What the fuck is he with you for? Exactly. Let my ugly ass be, right? Let Word, let her ugly, ugly ass be. <laughs> <laughs> let her be ugly out here by, and, myself. by herself. But now she got someone else. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> and I like him. <laughs> I ain't like you. Man. <laughs> oh, shit. That's funny. <laughs> You're so childish. And he'll beat your ass. And I'll help him. <laughs> what? And you really from Jersey. And you got my number. And you from Jersey City in real life. And I'm from Jersey City in real life. <laughs> GST, bitch. Oh my God. That was funny. But no, you know what? That's that's really but that's I feel like that's one of those things, like you said, in that double standard thing. Like, and it's one of those things that's unfortunate, like, oh, because you know, you yes, you are good looking the first I am thank whatever. You. Thank you. But no, but it's like <laughs> it's like, no, that doesn't excuse you know, excuse you from, you know, your behaviors. And it's really sad because it's like, oh, well, this one must be like this because this one looks that way. You know what I mean? It's like, really, it's, it's looks are really deceiving. You know what I mean? Because it's like, also like even dating people, it could look a certain way. A a, a girl could be so put together and then she go out. Sorry, I I gotta, I gotta pause that. I hate you. Samuel Jackson on here. Oh. (laughs) Oh, sorry. That, that just oh, I had a Ric Flair y'all one time. So, what, Joe, what you did to me last episode? I'm done. That's it. I'm done. Oh, that was yeah, that no. was my done moment. But um, what you gonna call it? <laughs> yep. We on another note, to finishing that topic. Joe's birthday coming up. Today, my sister's birthday. Oh, happy birthday! Which one? JJ. Happy birthday, JJ. Happy birthday, stupid ass. Happy we about birthday. to we we about to uh finish this uh. Taurus season heading into Gemini season. Whoop, whoop. These it's our right time here. coming, bro. Season that matters. Only and then, fucking season that matters. Lord have mercy. Mm-hmm. And then we're planning this one for 40th birthday, right here. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm actually really looking forward to it. Shit, me too. I'm, I'm hyped. Really looking forward to it. Can, I'm you, be, can th- you can thank my girl because she am. Yep, I'm about sure. to MC this. I'm about to be the MC. Why? No, you're not. I'm going to be the MC. No, Why? you're not. No, you're, not. You're, you're the decorator. I, yes. they, I'm in the, give me the DJ, give me the mic. No, oh, no, give me no. the mic. Yo, when I was checking out the venue, uh-huh. the lady was like, I was telling her about, you know, I'll do a podcast, whatever, blah, blah, blah. She goes, Are you going to do a live podcast? I'm like, No, it's my birthday party. <laughs> what are you talking about? That the beat them gentrified white folk that be coming to jury. Oh, that'd be so cool, that's, man. And that's the funny shit. Yo, so <laughs> she was asking me, Oh, so what's your pod about? I'm like, Yo, it's about like different issues. You know what I mean? Like, we we'll promote you. Give us a discount. I said, "Oh, hmm. so ooh. we ain't naming this spot, so you can give us a discount." Yeah, I'm not naming. It. It's just the venue. Um, 
So she's like, oh, what are you talking about? And I'm like, oh, a bunch of different things. Sometimes we talk about, you know, uh, I was like, I said, I said something like sometimes a lot of it is like hip hop. We're all like into hip hop, life issues, relationship things. Society. I was like, you know, we, we're all, we all from Jersey, two of us are from Jersey City. So we start we get into a lot about like how it's being, Jersey City is different and it's gentrified and all these yuppies are coming in here. <laughs> Ooh. Well, she's <laughs> yeah, like, whoa, wow. You, you really want, didn't want that uh, day available, huh? <laughs> <laughs> My day's available. <laughs> So nice. No, nah, she was mad nice. She's just like, but I mean, she's not from Jersey City. She's, I think, if I'm thinking, she's from New York. But they have the spot. Get off New York. Get off New York. So yeah, it was it was pretty cool. She'll probably check us out. How you doing? Hopefully. So what up? But yeah, no, nah, it's it's a nice little spot. Not too big. Not too small. Nice little. It's, it's gonna be more of like a uh, an intimate gathering. Quaint. Yeah. Are we no. all dressing up and we're gonna post pictures and everything? What? Looking forward to it. You getting, getting, getting a little outfit ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. I can just see a whole tracksuit. He don't need, need to buy it. He probably got it. He got that shit upstairs. <laughs> All the colors. <laughs> <laughs> All the colors. The team has to match. Yes, sir. Yeah, I know. That's how it's gotta be. I know how I know guy. It's gonna, it's gonna be Adidas down. It's gonna it's word. Gonna, it's, gonna, it's gonna go down. Oh, you know B-boy what we should style. do? That week we should come up. We should we should do the uh no a, a theme, an eighties themed podcast. I'm, I'm, I'm not doing none of that gimmicky shit no more. Mm-hmm. But I'm gonna but just do it by myself. You can do whatever the fuck you want. I'm just saying yeah, the number the number the number show like that gimmicky shit don't work. You for know us. that's really true. I know. I looked at it. Those those episodes as, are poorly. As long as you don't promote it like a gimmick, like you could dress how you want to dress. Yeah, but it's like don't say like it's eighties night. Like, cause then it's gonna. <laughs> Think about like, yo, these hey, motherfuckers. They'll be like, Whack. what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, 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 no. Like, we're, nah, not, we're not doing nah. that shit no more. Ooh. No. We're just, gonna, we're just gonna keep it regular degla on this bitch. Yep. Yeah, our regular That's degla it. episodes are popping, apparently. I mean, <laughs> I, I, not I, lately. You wanna call it popping? It's like, it's about as popping as like putting a bag of popcorn in a rope. In microwave the, in the drawer in the <laughs> word <laughs> that's in the, it's in the, all kernels all kernels, no pop bitch <laughs> all kernels no pop but um unless you think like 30s like popping <laughs> no <sighs> but yeah man i'm 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 excited i'm excited i'm, for I'm, you I'm really fucking hyped i'm excited for you to get home and the funny shit is like i wasn't going to do this shit i thought about it for years like I turned like 37. I'm like, yo, I want to do like a, you know, an 80s themed birthday party for my 40th. Cause like I said on the on a little invitation thing, I am an 80s baby, so why not do an 80s party? Makes so, sense. So I'm gonna do that shit. And I wasn't gonna do it, but my lady's like, yeah, you should do it. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I should. <laughs> and I started looking up, she's like, you gonna look up venues, and I start looking up shit. And I found a spot. It just worked out. So now I'm hyped. Invited some people. I'm excited. We're gonna have some. I told oh, you know, I told guy, I was like, guy, me and Joe were talking. We're like, we're gonna make guy in charge of the beer. You gotta come over the damn truck. The beer guy. <laughs> you gonna come in there like fucking stone cold. Stone cold. <laughs> Start spraying <laughs> motherfuckers down with it. <laughs> Word up. I'm with that shit. Oh god. Like, what's good? <laughs> yeah, man. Delivery. Looking forward to it. David wants to have a whole costume. Oh my God, yeah. I said his name on the just... This ain't the first time you said it. You said it last time when I was like, yeah, and you claimed him. Fire, fire me. David. Uh, what, what, what's wrong with you saying his name though? Like, that's your being, that's your I don't your even know who I am anymore, guys. <laughs> I don't even know who I am anymore. You're his girlfriend. <laughs> Joe, you, you have, can you? Illegal. He has incriminating nah, evidence. I got that. <laughs> uh, <but> <laughs> yeah. Nah, but uh, see, that's why I like him. His name's David. It's my middle name. I like to with it. <laughs> They're kind of like brothers now. David <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> Romance. So, so like... me and God, the Gemini boys, me and him are the David boys. <laughs> <laughs> David and David. I mean, my, my mother was like, don't fuck this up. I'm like, what the Word, hell? Word, because she know you fuck what shit up. What did I do? I'm Can like, you listen to your mother for once? 
Thank you. I don't do anything. Hey, I'm I'm gonna take your mother's advice if you fuck this one up. Uh huh. You know what she said too? That I could beat the shit out of you. He That's told it. she told him that too. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> wow. He, he's like, I'm not the kind of man, mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Settle down there. No, it's you know we'll we'll see. Mother's Day was yesterday, and um, wish me a happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, related to all the mothers out there. Word and, up. Um, all the figures. I did, a, I did a bunch of nothing. Absolutely nothing. Here we are. I'm so proud of us, guys. We've been consistent. 25, 25th episode. Really having a celebration. And what's the watch you though? Because you was more consistent. Word. Well, also the goddamn algorithms changed and fuck that. No, you know what? Facebook, <laughs> all these goddamn fucking social media outlets, they've changed a lot of stuff. Okay, um, but if they watched before. You should watch now. We're gonna find them. We're gonna do some. We give uh, them the fucking. We're gonna do some remarketing and stuff like that. All right. You gotta do all that shit. I'm gonna do that. Wait, part. remarketing? It's that a... means that we marketed yeah. before. I don't even remember that. Yeah, no, it, <laughs> it's it's a tactic called marketing your audience. Actually. It's called to say some nice shit. <laughs> Just say some shit, and they believe it. Yes. We market it, but we still have our our <laughs> hardcore. Loyal root viewers, we'll Tanya. All five of y'all. Tanya. Thank Tanya. you. Tanya, you got shout out Tanya. Always commenting. You met your Gotti? Did you tell the people? Gotti? No. You met her. Why the fuck I gotta tell them? Met they don't Gotti. got no all my business. I put enough of my business out there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Started out this podcast all single. Now look at you. Buddha. Yeah, look at you too. Oh, yes. How about that. Now that's the more shocking one. Word. You in a relationship? Mm-hmm. What? So you trying to say oh me God. in a relationship is less shocking or more shocking than you being in a relationship? Definitely not. Yo, my nigga, you was the whole love Grinch out this bitch. Mm-hmm. I was out here looking for love. You was out here the love Grinch. I, I feel pretending to I hate feel, love. I feel attacked. Word. Guys, I'm traumatized. You I've saw got, through all I've that got, bullshit. I got, I, guys, I've got PTSD. I got PTSD too. And I'm extra. And somebody actually is okay with me being extra. That's cool. Let me be as extra as I'm not gonna tell me to stop. Nope. Like I see it's weird. Nope. And then Joe records to the chair. And I'm like, bro, break your phone, bitch. He called it loud and laughing to him. Stupid. Why you recorded that? You're such an asshole. Mm-hmm. Can't believe you. I know. Jerk. You're right there. But when y'all old and gray, I'll send it to you. Y'all <laughs> old. <laughs> Get in there, motherfuckers. <laughs> well, you're the one celebrating your 40th, bitch. That ain't old. Oh, wait. we. I wanted to shout out the... Pr- who gave us this? My old girl. Gilda. Thank you so much for these cool shirts. Shout Word out. Up. Thank you. Shout out. We're going to put your Instagram. You have a page. Let me send it to you. You can wear this next week. No, appreciate it. I would have worn mine, but... It's so big, it don't fit in. I got my support... Garifuna culture. Mm-hmm. Shout out to them. I love this shirt. I got another one, and it says, uh, what is it? Uh, crema, no, uh, like crema, queso, frijole, tortilla, baleada. That's Honduran, a Honduran dish. So they basically put out the recipe. Yeah, it's on a shirt. It goes that. La receta. It's fucking dope. I love it. I love it. That's dope. But you're white. You know, you can't say those things. You can't no. use those shirts. No, you know? I can't. I can't. I can't. You can't do shit, apparently. I can't do shit because my skin is too light. Fuck you. And being every shouting out people's shirts and all that shit. Let's I want to make a shout out to Daytona Boxing Club for hooking it up with the Marvin Hagler shirt. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Brick City Zone, you know. Brick City. Oh, shit. Okay. But, you know. Doing it, we doing it out here. We got we got shirts now. We got shirts. <laughs> we got shirts. We got shirts. We, we, just three of them, but we got shirts. <laughs> we got shirts. And, we, we, and, and stickers. And stickers. And shirts and stickers, man. We, we moving on up. up. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Woo! It's like oh. 25 episodes, but we here. And well, I'm 24 the because we had we had these well, well, I mean with the shirts now. And um, I, uh, my, oh, my, right my, now. my 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 mom is, is pre- still apologizing, by the way. <laughs> like Joey Grace, I'm sorry. Mm. She'll make it up to you. She'll make it up to you for your birthday. 
Drop the ball on that one, mom. She'll make it up to you. She'll make it up. Right. And I'm still here. You still here? What? Still with y'all. Who? Y'all ain't kicked me. Y'all ain't kicked me out. Yeah, it yeah was, that's, it was that's a miracle. Yeah. <laughs> Survived so far. Word. For as, now, as, as my, a, some supernatural. For now, as my girl tells me when I ask her if she loves me. She for be now, saying that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, bendito. Because I ain't here. She got my phone number now. We about to be besties. Sorry, I'm going to the, I'm going to strip club with David. Yeah. yeah. He fixed. That's what he's doing. Remember the same energy you put out there. Grizz can do the same thing. This is just just I feel like I'm living in the twilight zone. This is really like <laughs> Yeah, somebody actually likes you. <laughs> Word. Huh. Cue the Twilight Zone music. No, so, I, that was me talking. I'm no, no, I actually <laughs> like someone. Yeah, but one actually likes you. Shut up, stupid. On that note, I'm tired. I need to get to bed, and you need to be up early. It's the bus driver, sir. Do I? <laughs> yes. But it's not that late. It's okay. Yes. All right, well, we could we could wrap this one up. I don't, I don't, I don't want to say wrap up no because they don't listen to me when I do it. So I'll let y'all. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I was like, you don't. <laughs> this was me. I was like. So we can wrap this one up. Episode 25. <laughs> Peace oh, out. That vibes up in this bitch. Y'all know, y'all know what to do. Comment below. All that shit. Like, share, subscribe. On, Give us something. God, y'all know the vibes. Come on, man. I'm about to make this real controversial just so people can comment and go watch it. Yo, for real, yo. Like, we need to have, like, we need to clout cheese for a second. Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to do that like, shit right now. never. We don't give a fuck, bitch. Like, I need, to, I need to be on some wild shit and call her, like, a bitch or some shit. Yeah. And they be like, oh. And then, like, get get the fucking internet going. <laughs> the views are going. Yeah. It's start going viral. Look at this mad white motherfucker. No, you should be like, you should be talking like, down to the black her, queen. He called her, like, he called her a nigga. <laughs> oh, shit. I won't do that one. Oh, fucking <laughs> Blow up the internet. Cancel the whole pod. Good word. Nah, Good night, nah, y'all. That would be crazy, though. Yeah, man. Out. 25. 25. Live for 25. Yeah, we're Pod and us, baby. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you.